hello guys it's me key and today i'm going to be doing my recent reads books number one through five for 2022 the first i read a variety of things um i went back to the time when dystopian was all the rage circa 2000 2012 to 2014 had a good time there probably won't be on the series that i read but it's fine i also caught up over uh, the first three three books of a new cozy series to me as well as an arc of a author of the not sequel but like not even companion book but just the second book by an author that I really enjoyed the first one. So let's get into it. So the first three books that I'm going to actually put these together. Um, which I forgot which one this is. So I read the first three books of a cozy series. And it is the Book Mobile, book Mo Mobile Cat Mystery. And I read Cat with a Clue. Which I rated I think a four. Uh, the next book in the series, which was Pouncing on Murder, um, and the third book, which is Borrowed Crime, uh, all by Lori Cass, and the first book, uh, follows, this series follows our main character, Minnie, who is a librarian, um, and she just so happens to, she has this cat called Eddie, which really determined if the cat found her or she found the cat, but either way, they found each other. And any kind of nudges her in the right direction went towards the suspect or like person who may have done the crime and those cat like ways <laughs> and in the first one we find um many shelving books and in the library and she just finds a dead body and our she has a traveling bookmobile that she's trying to get up and ready and it's very the bookmobile is like in its beginning baby stages and so the head librarian over many doesn't think that it's a good idea blah 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 and i'm like but that's awesome so she's riding around the county and she actually is finding a body in the library so they have to find out who done it um and i did not guess i never i don't go in going into cozy's guessing kind of takes i don't know for me it takes the fun out of it unless it's like really bold in my face red herrings aside like i mean if it was i'm like okay i could figure that out but sometimes most likely i don't really figure them out which is kind of the point um for the second book which is pouncing on murder she is now um in her syrup provider henry gill is found dead she meets adam's adam who just so happens to be henry the dead man's friend henry gill's friend and it's a little weird because he just kind of popped up it's like oh now you're his friend it's kind of weird how the co coincidence of him popping into town right at his friend's murder. it's just a little weird don't you think so we have Minnie and Eddie, Eddie on the trail to try to figure out who killed him and if he's a little too close for comfort and it was some very ooh, about maybe who may have done the thing the deed but adam was like mm, maybe not so it was a i read all of these a four um and pretty good i read listened to all of these on audio so it was great i was able to kind of read along with it which i feel like i can read through the book much quicker in the third book we have Minnie. she's supposed to be um she is trying to keep this book mobile um place alive and she also has like I feel like a love interest and like it's kind of developing in these books and it's only the third book I have I own five of them so the next two will be I'll be listening to an audiobook and um when a vo when one of the volunteers on her route dies then it's kind of up to her it kind of puts a spotlight on the book mobile especially since it's kind of on its like beginner stages and trial stage that like a lot of the head librarian does not want her to have and she early in one of the other books i think she comes across a a large amount of money that like a donor a mysterious donor like gave so she does have the money now to 
run it but now it's kind of up to like a committee so she's kind of trying to defend that and then also trying to figure out who you know one of the clients not clients but volunteer dies on the book mobile's route like what was the connection what's going on it was a good time honestly it was very entertaining the city charm was a good time now i have one of the other books that i don't have and i just forgot to mention i have five books in my hand but it's actually six because i sold one of them on pango books i am a bookseller on pango books so if you want to shop my bookshelves you can go down below um and my username should be the same as my youtube but i will put my username on the screen um but yeah if you want to shop my bookshelves you can always check down in the description box of my videos and i have my pango books link down below so i actually sold one of them and so that's actually a duology within a series which i know it just that sounds weird but work with me here so the first one that i don't have is the epidemic and then the second one is the remedy to this so it's six books total in the series but every two books follow a different couple set in this world so it's like three sets of duologies in a series and they're con every two books are connected like i feel like any in a way everybody's connected because the only thing that connects them is because they're in this dystopian world that um frowns upon frown, frowns down upon um showing emotions feelings and if they do then something goes wrong so like the first two books is like if i remember correctly because i read them in like 2013 um that they are they send the kids to like some type of therapy but it's not therapy it's like to almost deconstruct them and like take out the emotion like have them take out the emotional side of being a human which is crazy right um so that was the first two books and then of course it's a dystopian world so somebody has to die so a few people died through this um think the series um because they are collateral damage and la -di -di -da. it was a little too close to home and these two these two books in particular the epidemic and the remedy which this girl in the epidemic and the remedy this girl quinn she is a um she's a closer so she essentially gives she becomes like essentially she takes over the as per, takes the personality of like a parent's child that has like or daughter that has like died so it kind of gives them closure of like why the daughter did x y and z and it gives them closure so they can like continue on with their life well this assignment she gets a little too close um and usually this is only the fam the main family involved not like any external people like the boyfriend or like friends or family but things get a little twisted and complicated and quinn learns some secrets about this world or her parents and all the connections this book gave me it was very it made me very melancholy and sad and i was like so I had to step away from like these books after I read them, I had to step away. I had to like get something happy and it was very melancholy. Like you kinda knew what was about to happen, but I was like, no. They wouldn't go that far, would they? No, they no no they would. They would go that far. Um and I'm choosing not to continue on with the series. Yes, that's it, like you can you know that there's gonna be like two more books after this to kind of see so the remedy is like them trying to figure out like trying to stop the people who are taking these emotions and feelings out of these these high schoolers like because so they're in high school um and they don't have them they don't know anything other than this dystopian world of like us taking and like almost brainwashing y'all into not having feelings and emotions which is insane to me um so this middle these two books book three and four the epidemic and the remedy they are the breaking point of the series because one of our main characters becomes collateral damage and things start following 
start domino affecting into the world so if somebody finds out something super huge and then it like it pandora's box open and it ain't closing no time soon so now in the next like book five or six i think they're trying to of course use another person as the experiment and see if the remedy if it works and i'm like why are we using children as experiments but okay we won't get into that so yeah i rated them i think like a three three point five it was meh um it was something to be like raving to my grandmother about but it was a good book um dystopian that was a little too close that could be a little too close to the real world in some aspects i was like oh yeah no thank you um but whoever finished reading the series good job for you um i totally see how entertaining this can be and the last book that i read was heartbreakers and figures by cameron Lou. this um is I'm convinced Cameron Liu, she really knows how to make, knows how to write dislikable characters. Because I hated the best friend. She, of the, our, her, our main character, her, she needed to get some more friends. So this book revolves around a group of trio of friends, a uh, group of friends. Penny wakes up on her boyfriend's, or gonna be, I guess, boyfriend Jordan's lawn. She, thinking that she's going to wake up to the best summer of her life but little does she know it goes completely wrong when she and she's like feels very discombobulated and has no idea why her best friend olivia is mad at her why kai her uh, olivia's boyfriend air quotes work with me here um is mad at her and the guy that she's crushing on who is kai's best friend uh what is this guy's name and finds out that <laughs> Kai comes to her with this plan. I guess they both agreed this plan to fake date so they can make their best friends mad. So yeah, they come up with this plan because Penny actually want tries to get is trying to get the attention of Jordan to actually like become like like trying to define the relationship and like actually be official, right? So she figures, hey, to get his attention, let's fake date his best friend. Who just so happens her best friend Olivia is she's horrible. She's horrible she's really bad like she needs penny needs i kept thinking about that i was like you need new friends olivia's not your friend she literally talks about you by your, behind your back and you you just go on with that you just stand there and say nothing as she talks about and like downgrade other girls it's just not a good look for you i was very proud of penny throughout this book i like like halfway through the book beginning wasn't a fan but as kai and penny actually realized oh crap i don't actually not like you that's kind of the point like i thought i hated you at first and then i actually don't so there's that um it was very summery summer vibe camp vibe but it's not set in a camp um so they end up fake dating and oh, penny ends up finding her legs and spine to set boundaries and just to cut off her friendship with her toxic in her toxic relationship or toxic friendship with olivia and i'm glad she did and found she befriended another girl who olivia made fun of earlier and just ran with a rumor around school and the girl is like how are y'all actually friends i said wow that's the question i've been asking this entire book how are you friends and so she also gets characterization um it improves the relationship with her mother because she kind of judges she's very judgmental and i could tell that olivia was rubbing off on penny a lot because of how shocked and a lot of and a lot of things that was happening with like different events or different friends and like information that she found out that olivia told her but then when she found out for herself it wasn't true so it's like so your friend is a liar and she don't like you and she talks about you behind your back like it's just like she guilt trip you like do you really want to stay in a friendship with like that so i'm very glad she cut off that toxic that friendship with her because i was starting to wonder kai is such a sweetheart um that he was wrong he was real wrong for doing that but the way that it kind of blew up in one of the scenes i was like oh Ugh. 
that's bad um it wasn't the right idea but i'm glad he was self-aware and he's been self-aware the entire time he's like how y'all actually friends i really don't get it and do you really like jordan enough because he didn't really like you that like so everybody was trying to get back at each other and it was just a wild angsty teenage <laughs> summer field show like i feel like this could have been a, a tv a, like tv episode drama it was wow but i do i really really did enjoy this despite how many things are like you're like did you like it did you not like it i did enjoy it um i was very proud of Penny. penny did not want to punch olivia in the throat a couple of times kyle was a sweetheart jordan i don't know why he likes olivia but that's another question for another day um but i did enjoy this i rated this like a 4.2 4.3 ish and it was a good time so i will link all these books down below in the description box um and link it to the amazon pages and i will also separate this video by chapter so you can jump around to see what books you uh want me to hear me talk about and yes so i hope you guys enjoy my first recent reads of 2022 <laughs> and i will see you guys in my next video ciao can you just sit down just wait because i want to